Did you guys notice that the more progressive a corporation is, the more likely it is to abuse its workers? If it doesn't sexually abuse them, like Blizzard or Paradox Interactive, then it just works them to death, like Wizards of the Coast. For example, The Last of Us, Naughty Dog Gaming, one of the most progressive gaming companies in the world, you guys, apparently had the biggest turnover rate during The Last of Us 2. It was worse than the service industry, which already has a massive turnover rate, because most people just work there for the summer. You have, like, teenagers that are working there for a small period of time. But no, like at The Last of Us, like you, you had employees just cracking mentally for working there. Very progressive company. And now Wizards of the Coast. You know, maybe the, this is why these companies want diversity, to work the black people to death. I don't know. But it's so bizarre. How do the diversity officers live with themselves? Can, can you do that job? Must be a very stressful job. It's like, yes, we need more black people in a company. And, and when you look at what the company does to their employees, you have to wonder, holy fuck. I mean, I get it, you know, with Blizzard, it was the higher-ups that required more women in the company to abuse them. And if you're the diversity officer, you're like, oh, I guess uh, I need to find the new harem. It, it's very bizarre, isn't it? No one no one blames the diversity officers for what they're doing. It's, it's perfectly fine when they do it, even when they're working at these horrible companies. And and clearly, they're never in the know, right? Like they're not, It's not like they're upper management or something. So in this case, apparently Dungeons and Dragons, right? Wizards of the Coast, do you know how progressive they are? They're so progressive, they have to change their entire game. They're like, okay, we can't have evil races anymore. I mean, I know that some game masters just need some baddies to kill, like some goblins or, or some orcs, but no, 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 because evil stereotypes, I guess they want to create a new stereotype of, of the employee that they work to death. So look at this, right? It's just like the most bizarre stuff, apparently. Uh... They have to crunch non-stop, like more than 10 hours a, uh, a day. They're saying that this is not the standard in the industry. Look at this nonsense. Like, while there have been efforts to be more inclusive, some say the industry is still tough for women. Not, no shit. Like, if I had to work more than 10 hours a day, it would be tough for me. I, I don't know. It's like LGBTQ folk and people of color to thrive in. What thriving... As you're sucking the corporate cock, as the corporate boot is pressing down your neck, what thriving are you talking about? By the way, this is feminism, right? If a woman chooses to stay at home and get her husband paycheck, uh, she's being enslaved. Like, no, th that's not freedom. That That is the patriarchy enslaving her. The magical cock and, and balls in the sky, locking her in the kitchen, that's horrible. But if she works at a corporation crunching for more than 10 hours a day, never getting to see her family, except for a very small time in the weekend, oh, then it's progressive. If you work 10 hours a day, when do you have time to fuck? Like, that's another thing. Like, when do you even have time to spend the money? Apparently, they're also paid peanuts. They're being paid very little, and they have to work in some of the most expensive cities in the United States. People are saying that it's soul-sucking, it's draining, it never stops. This is, like, it, it, it's horrible what you're reading here. It's an entire article where you just read about the dreadful and the atrocious working conditions. And again, this is a social justice company. You're going to have every twat with a hammer and sickle in the bio and the pronouns in the bio defending this company. They love it. They worship. It's worship at this company. It's like a church. It's like a woke cathedral, and these people are proselytizing in front of them. Heaven forbid you say something negative about their favorite company. My God, like the woke ideology is the best ideology in the world for the rich to abuse the poor. All you have to do is to say you champion the correct causes, and you get like some diversity officers in your company, and then you can fuck with people as much as you want, either literally like in Blizzard, or figuratively like you have here. It's I, I, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, If I was an actual woke person, if I legitimately cared for social justice and I would see companies behave like this, I would hate them with a passion. Imagine, like if you're a religious person and the priest in your church is running a whorehouse and he's telling people not to fornicate, he's telling people like... Uh, Anything outside of marriage is a sin. Like, he's constantly preaching about that. But he's running a whorehouse. 
How would you feel? I would feel betrayed. I would never go to that church ever again. I would probably get some other fellow Christians to protest in front of the church. I would write to a higher up. I, I would write to the clergy. So can you please get the fuck out of here? Like, get, get this priest out of here. And they complain with the fact that these companies aren't making money anymore. I mean, I don't know. Maybe uh, th this is just me. All right? But just maybe you should stop blocking your fans on Twitter. These people are sharing block lists with their fans. The people that are supposed to put money on their table, they're blocking them. All the people that are complaining about the direction that Wizards of the Coast is going. Do you know why they're complaining? Because they actually buy the product. If they wouldn't have bought the product, they wouldn't complain to begin with. I mean, there's so many products that I don't care about, like knitting. I don't know what's happening in that community. I, I don't know what the knitting companies are putting out, so I don't care. But when people complain about a product, it's because they legitimately care about it. Well, like, I guess like social justice activists also care about it, but they don't buy it. And, and they don't care if the company goes bankrupt either. But even then, like, why, why, would, you, why would you block people? And insult them and call them names and call them misogynists and call them trolls. And then it's like, oh, we're not selling our product. Because at the end of the day, it's literally this. This is how you can summarize it. There's no better way. I have made more of the thing you like, says the company. And everyone is happy because it's the thing we like. It's working, right? And then someone goes, I do not like the thing. And they have a megaphone because maybe they're depressed. Maybe, maybe they're like Kotaku or Polygon. And then the company goes, you know what? If I please this guy, maybe I can get access to the wider audience. The wider audience. So I'm just going to change it. And when they change it, everyone is like, this is no longer the thing we wanted. I'm going to look for a different thing. And, and the, the, the funny thing is, okay, like female Ghostbusters, perfect example. Even the feminists don't watch it. I mean, there's two possibilities. Even... Like, number one, there's so few feminists that even if all of them watch it twice, it still doesn't make a profit. Or they just don't watch it. And let's be honest, I know for sure they don't watch it. Because I know on Twitter, there were a couple of people that were actually advocating for the change and they were praising it. And then I asked them, so did you like it? Oh, I haven't watched it yet. And I'm like, no. motherfucker. So you have these companies that created... Massive cultural milestone. Everyone in the world knows about Dungeons and Dragons, okay? It's not some esoteric shit. And now they can't make money and they have to work to death their employees. Why? Why? Why do you do this? Why, why can't you be normal? Just please be normal. Get some Japanese people in your company if you want diversity. They'll fix your shit. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the comment section. God!